Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Gregorio. Thank you very much. Good to be here. We've got one of our now uh, legend, I'm going to say legendary comparison <laughs> reviews. Legendary. We've got two of the new hotly anticipated new crossover machines of 2024. We've got the Suzuki GX. Oh, that's a nice Lambo just gone by. Uh, this is my long termer, this one. Really been enjoying that. And we've also got the new updated BMW S1000XR. This is the M Sport version. This is actually a 21 and a half thousand pound motorcycle. So yeah. we're doing what we're, what we're comparing is you could argue is a little bit unfair because we're comparing a 21 and a half thousand pound motorcycle to a 14,000 pound motorcycle. Yeah. But they're both doing the same thing. But, but so. in fairness, the M Sport is just a trim, isn't it? It's not it's not a fundamentally different model like the MXR. Exactly. So yeah. it's still it's still, it's still a fair it's still comparison. It's still but we'll, we'll, we'll consider price in that whole kind of consideration exactly. class, yeah? Exactly. So if you're interested in these new crossover motorcycles, then yeah, you know what you've got to do. Make yourself a cup of tea, make yourself comfortable, and chop the roll the intro. Good morning everybody, well here they are, the babies. As I mentioned at the beginning, I've spent a lot of time on these machines. I've just got back from Germany on the XR, southern Germany. This is my long term from Suzuki. So I've done similar mileages on both of these bikes now with the trip. You're fresh to both of these, Greg, aren't you? You've never ridden these before, apart from the quick little ride up here. Probably 10 minutes on the GX, and I've ridden the MXR, uh, but not the SXR. The specs are all very similar. The XR's got more power, 170 horsepower, 150 on the Suzuki. The XR's a tiny little bit lighter. I think it's about 230 kilos on the GX and 227 on here. So it's very, very similar from a weight perspective. You know, all obviously doing the same sort of things, bringing those superbike engines into a comfortable chassis with long suspension and for doing serious miles on. But uh, this is going to be a good one, mate. I know this is obviously a lot cheaper. The GX is about 14,000 without any luggage. This is the M Sport XR. So this, with the bits and bobs it's got on, is 21 and a half thousand pounds. So it's a massive difference in price. It is a big price difference. And um, what, what would you say, just quickly, are the main differences in spec between the two, or are they similar in terms of gadgetry? There's more gadgetry on the BM. So you, you've got forged wheels with the M spec. So you've got forged wheels on the M. You've got a few more toys, hill hold control. Uh, they've both got electronic suspension. But that's it. I think hill hold control is the only It's not a lot extra. then, is it? It's, so, so it's forged really. wheels, hill hold control. So in terms of actual usable gadgetry, cruise control, quick shifters, electronic suspension, yeah. that's, they're the same, aren't they? They're the, only they're the same. Heated grips is the only thing, but that is an extra on this. It's not included in any of the packs. You have to add it as an extra. So it's always the same as the Suzuki, it is an extra. And this has also got a side, a centre stand, which is an extra. And the luggage rack is also an extra for the top box on the And XL just well. a final question, the Acura can, is that is that part That's of the M Sport? part of the M Sport pack. One thing you notice on a Suzuki straight away is just how smooth that engine, the engine on this is so refined. Honestly, it's almost electric smooth. It's very smooth, isn't it? It's And the quick shifter blipper is really nice on it as well. It's so nice, so easy. Well, I've spent, I've even done a track day on that GX at Cadwell Park, and it's surprisingly good. One thing we have changed on that, or I have changed, it's, got, it's not got the standard rubber anymore. The standard tyres are not very good on that bike. The OEM Dunlops it comes with, not great. So I've put a set of uh, Dunlops, Sportsmart TTs, which is sort of a fast road track tyre. <laughs> so it's got some proper sticky tyres on it now, which is what it needed. It just, the standard rubber is not very good at all. Whereas the XR's got some Pirelli Rosso Dablo 5s on, so again, not nice sticky sticky rubber. How are you finding the riding position on it? It's, it's, it's very nice. It's very, very comfortable, very natural. It's a little bit more inverted commas cramped than i was expecting in relative terms so your legs are quite bent up the pegs are fairly high um but it is very comfortable and the thing that i've noticed really quickly is how plush the suspension setup is really it is really good for uk roads and some 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 of the bumps back there i know from riding this road regularly are quite harsh and this is just glides over it beautiful the suspension on the suzuki is its superpower it's that shower system 
and it is excellent. There's a really good uh, sort of range between the soft and the hard. And you can also go in and tune it where you want it as well by plusing and minusing on the standard settings. And I'm not sure you can do that on the XR. I think the Suzuki wins from a suspension point of view. And this is in me medium damping at the moment, isn't medium it? Medium damping, which I find is more or less perfect for everything, to be honest. With the tyre change I've done, I've actually fitted a 55 profile rear tyre. So I have pitched the bike up a bit more on its nose by fitting a 55. It's a 50 standard. I think that's a worthwhile improvement on that machine as well. And that hasn't messed with any electronic stuff. Changing the tyre circumference hasn't messed with any electronic doodars. And because the speedo is from the front wheel on that bike, you haven't got to worry about any gearing alterations either. Oh, I've got my hill hold control on, mate. Hill hold control. Oh, get you. Very nice. That was six grand well spent then, wasn't it? <laughs> An extra four and a half grand well worth it. A hoon up the hill climb. Well, it's a bit damp, be careful. A little bit damp. What, your underpants or you want about the road? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously my pants. Yeah, the, the, the X side of the tyres are up. got a lovely feel from the XR I have to say. You can slide around on the seat on it as well. Get your knee out if that's what you want. The Suzuki's good though. It's good isn't it's it? Surprising. Yeah, it's surprising. Yeah surprising. What I've noticed on the Suzuki actually the front end feel is also nice which sometimes on the sort of crossover bikes I find a bit lacking. Yes. But I actually feel really quite confident in what the bike's doing which i really do like i completely agree and that was one of the best things about that bike as well as the front end feel yeah it's it, nice, it goes isn't it? exactly where you point it doesn't it it gives you good feedback it's a really nice front end on that machine and it's the same on the xr it, it, it's just that feels exactly the same but you're right you don't always get that with this sort of bike no and uh, yeah it's got a really nice front end feel on that the riding position on the XR is uh, very comfortable. One thing with the XR, you do feel a little bit locked into the seat, being a bigger guy. Last year's bike was really bad for being locked in. You couldn't really move around. And I think that put a lot of people off the XR. But for this year, they've opened out a little bit. It's still a bit crammed. I can still feel like the seat behind me, but it's much better. The seat's not as sculpted as what it was on last year's bike. So comfort is very good on this machine. It's no GS but it's still very very good and like I say I've done 700 miles on it and I didn't even get a sore bum I don't know how I didn't get a sore bum well, one thing on the uh, the XR it's a little bit tricky to find neutral you've got to do that little bit of hunting for neutral on it sometimes that's fairly common on it's BMWs common I on think isn't, BMW, it? isn't it but the gearbox on the Suzuki yeah. It's brilliant. It's, it is perfection. I, th I think Suzuki's always nailed their gearboxes, haven't they? And that is yeah. exactly the same. It's, it's perfect. Quick shift is perfect as well. So smooth. Yeah. It's so smooth. Lovely. It's actually very impressive. You know, one of the things I want to talk about a little bit later is actually just the looks of both of them because I know they're subjective, but it's a little bit strange looking at the Suzuki, I think, particularly at the front end. Um, just that sort of stacked headlight. It's... I don't know, would it win a beauty contest? I don't know. I think it, it's it's an absolute supermodel compared to the GT version though, isn't it? <laughs> oh, that is true. That, no, that, that's true. Compared yeah. to the GT version, it's... Yeah, the GT looks like the runt of the litter, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's Pamela Anderson compared to the, uh, the GT. But I like the blue. I really yeah, like, I like the blue, the blue. With, with the sort of silvery grey and well. the gold forks. Gold wheels and the are nice, don't they? Gold blue forks wheels. even. Gold forks, oh, I gold, say wheels. You said gold wheels. <laughs> gold, gold, gold forks wheels. and the blue wheels. I, yeah, that's definitely the colour that I would go for. And then, yeah, I like the... Um, I do like the colour scheme of the BMW, actually. And I think it, it does look a little bit more manly, I think. Yeah. I don't know if that makes any sense, but do you know what I mean? I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you. And I like yeah. the... the what I, like the, I like these little grills. I thought only the yeah. M had these little grills at the back here, but it's sort yeah, of standard on both like of the bikes. Do I need the key? No, it's in the cubby. You've got a nice oh, little cubby on the on the XR, which is nice. So the key's nice. in the cubby. Nice. Right, let's, let's swing my leg back over my trusty, my trusty GX. Oh yeah! Immediately, without even pulling away, there's definitely less space to move around on the BMW, isn't there? Yeah, it's, there's the definitely Suzuki. more here. There's a good two or three inches to move around on this, and the seat height's lower on this as well. It feels a bit lower. It's quite tall bike, the XR. Yeah, it's definitely lower at the back than the Suzuki. It doesn't feel like you're on the nose as much as 
what you are on the XR. The, pe the, the pegs are higher as well, a little bit, little bit more cramped in the leg. They're, yeah, they're definitely higher, and I think they're further back. They're a little bit further forward on the BMW. Yes, the whole bike seems a lot a bit smaller. It does definitely seem smaller. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, suspension is gorgeous on this. It is very, very plush. When you go down the gearbox on the Suzuki, the gear lever action feels nicer than the BMW. I find on the BMW, with the straight four engines, it feels like you're pushing your boot into sand or something, a little bit. <laughs> a little bit over damped or something, sort of thing. Yeah, right? I, yeah. Yeah, it's more of a Where mechanical feel on the Suzuki, isn't there? Yeah, I think I prefer the feel of the Suzuki gear lever action. I'll tell you one thing I've noticed, that the XR's definitely got more punch in the mid-range. When you open up, it pulls harder in the mid-range, for sure. I think that, that's one slight criticism at this point. The mid-range is a little bit weak. And I'm sure that's just a Euro 5 mapping tuning type thing. I'm sure if you were sort of to change the pipe and get this tuned, you'd get a masses of mid-range back on it. And it's something I'd like to do actually as part of what my long-term experience with this bike, if Suzuki will let me. Just in terms of um, ergos and riding position, you're, you're sat taller on the BMW. You're I, definitely I've, taller, I've, aren't you? Yeah, you, you, definitely. It feels quite a bit higher. But you're right about the front end on the Suzuki. It's very, very nice, isn't it? It's nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's really nice. It feels natural and you really can feel what's going on and it's, yeah, confidence inspiring. I, I think it's, I think, that, I think there's nothing in it on the front end. I think both the front ends on these are really nice. And I think from a hand, this is something we didn't really get to test on the launch because they had the rubbish tyres on it standard. Also, the routes they took were pretty diabolical. But this is actually a real performance machine in the twisties. You'll be surprised what this bike can do with some decent rubber on. It doesn't feel it's playing second fiddle to the XR around the twisties. Oh, I've stalled it <laughs> again. That's twice I've stalled it now. How weird's that? <laughs> You'll learn how to ride a boat, mate. <laughs> <laughs> This is all, it's all coming back to me now, so familiar for my Cadwell Park thrashings. You can move around on the Suzuki as well, get your leg out. You can on the BM to be fair. Yeah, you can as well, the BM, absolutely, that's what I mean, they're both. And I don't, I don't think this is something Suzuki showed off enough on the launch, is the sporty credentials of this machine, once you get rid of those stock stock tyres. It's it's very good. It's very it's it's as sporty in the twisties as the XR, which you might not have expected. You might not have expected that. Yeah, I, I was a little bit worried that I'd get back on this and think, oh god, it's it's uh, it's nowhere near as as nice as the XR. But I'm not getting that. I'm I'm really pleased to say I'm not getting that. Considering it's uh, was it seven and a half thousand pound cheaper? Did we just work out? Yeah, it's a lot of money difference from that version, the equivalent version of the XR to this with electronic suspension. I think it's about eight and a half for the, for the TE version, 18 and a half thousand. So it's still, it's still four and a half thousand pound cheaper than the equivalently specced XR. Yeah, and I think you've got to be very careful because you're, you, this has got forged wheels, it's got the Acura, you, but you don't need to spend, you could get an equivalent bike to the Suzuki from BMW for a lot less than this one, couldn't you, as you say, but it'd still be four and a half grand different. Yeah, 18,500 it is for the same spec as the Suzuki. Which is still a big difference, I'm not belittling it. And like I say, I mean, the twisties, the handling, they're sort of on par with each other. The XR is more powerful, it does pull harder in the mid-range as well. We'll see that on the roll-ons in a minute, I think the XR's going to walk it. I wouldn't be surprised if even with me on the XR, you're going to beat you on the Suzuki, and that's unheard of, but we'll see, we'll see in a moment, we'll see in a moment. I could be wrong. You're stretching the point now, mate. Yeah, it just, it just, just feels a little bit smaller, the uh, the GX, doesn't it? It's just, it's just a little bit yeah, smaller no, Yeah, the riding position's tighter, isn't it? It all just feels a bit more compact, but it feels pleasantly cosy, I would say. Yes, and you, you do have more room to move around as well, which on a long trip could, could be a game changer, having a little bit more space to move about. One thing I've noticed on the Suzuki, which is definitely a markdown over the BMW, is I think the wind buffeting is, is even though the screen's bigger on that Suzuki I find it to be a lot more buffety than the BMW there's no adjustable screen well there is but you need tools to adjust and to be honest 
the sc I normally have a little add-on screen on the top, which absolutely makes this perfect for me. Because screens are obviously very personal, it depends how tall you are, where you sit, you know, there's so many different variables to getting the screen right for someone. But yeah, it, this needs a little add-on to make it perfect. Whereas what you're getting on that is just, the, the air that's hitting your helmet is just unfiltered, it's just like a naked almost. Whereas you're getting a bit of half and half with this screen. But I think the body work, the body work, your legs get less wind on the BMW as well because there's just more body work to protect you from the elements. I'm just finding it a smoother air experience. Yes, yeah, could, could well be, could well be right there. Love, lovely pickup in the mid, mid range this though. It's got a very strong pickup that, I have to say. Very, very nice. And the, the electronics are a bit more sophisticated on the XR. You can turn off the wheelie control from the traction control, whereas the Suzuki, you've got to turn everything off. If you if you want to pull some wheelies, that's a little bit a little bit archaic in this day and age, isn't it? So we were just saying, weren't we, a moment ago? One of the things that obviously the Suzuki is considerably cheaper than the BMW, but over like a three four year period, would it end up costing you a lot less because the residuals may not be may not be as good as the BMWs? Potentially depends on mileage, doesn't it? Yeah, I think it's. It's definitely something to consider, isn't it? it it's I not going to so. be as good as the BMW. I wouldn't have thought so. I, no, I know the outlay is so. less, but you know it's all things to consider. Yeah. Anyway, enough of all that. But what, what's important when you spend that much money? Is which one's the quickest, isn't it? That's what you want to know. Which exactly. one's the fastest? So uh, let's find out. In three, two, one, go! Had a bit of wheelie on this, but the front wheel's coming up. The wheelie control sorted it, but it, it cost me a bit, but yeah. The XR was quicker with, with you on it, as expected. How was the XR just opening the gas? Was it just fully in control? Yeah, really good. And, and any, any wheel lift at all? Or a little bit in first, but yeah. nothing to, uh, to worry you. This came Very up, controlled. This came up a moderate amount and actually had to shut the power. I didn't shut the power, but the bike shut the power to bring it down. So it cost it a little bit of time because it was managing the wheelie control. One more. Ready yeah. in three, two, one, go! <laughs> mm, should we do a quick swap and... Uh, yeah, let's swap here. Uh, we need, I needed to get the panniers and fill in with concrete and then it would have been about <laughs> equal then, wouldn't it? Yeah. Concrete. But the, con the bags of cement in the, uh, in the panniers. As you rev it through in first, it lifts the wheel a little bit, but it's all under control. You can just leave it pinned. The electronics have got you covered. Well, I'm trusting you, and I'm trusting the bike. Trusting Suzuki, and trusting that little host of Jap little Japanese fellow who spent all that time programming the wheelie control. All right, another little roll on. So, we've got Gregorio on the Suzuki, slightly less power. So, let's give it a go in three, two, one, go! She's wheeling! Yeah, I'm, I'm much closer with you. I'm much closer with you there. The BMW is faster, but it's not leagues different. It's not as big a difference as I thought it was going to be. No. One, once that Suzuki gets past 8,000 revs, it flies, doesn't it? Big time. Okay, so let's do a roll on. In. Three, two, one, go! Not much in here, is there? There's not a great deal in here, is there? Pretty close, to be fair. This takes a little bit, a bit of a time to build. Yes, it does. But this is definitely, the mid-range is stronger on this. It, it, it's, I bet if we do a, a 40 mile hour roll on, well, let's, 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 do let's, that. let's try that. Fourth gear. 40 miles an hour, fourth game fourth at 40. In three, two, one, go! Oh, yes. Yeah, when, when we've got the weight difference, I'm sure you'll romp away. I feel the extra, I was staying with you exactly the same then. And we've got that additional weight difference for me on this. I like this Suzuki a lot. It's good, isn't it? I really like it. I knew it was good, and then I spent a long time on this, and then thought this was a lot better in my head but going back on it now it is it is better but I'm not sure it's four and a half grand better 
I'm not actually sure personally. It's better at all. <laughs> I don't think it is. I, I honestly I don't think it is. There's nothing in it. They're both so similar. Oh, you have another go on you have another go on the XR again. So so far I actually prefer the suspension on the Suzuki. And admittedly, I haven't tried the BMW in the dynamic mode, which I'm just about to. So I'm going to reserve final judgment. But I think for this sort of bike, the suspension on the Suzuki is is perfect, John. It is perfect. I, I, honestly, is it superpower the suspension on this? It's incredible. They... But, but that, that, that's a big part of owning a bike, isn't it? It's comfortable and it feels brilliant. And, it's, and for a first attempt at electronic suspension, I think they've done. It could be why it's so good, because they spent so long getting it right, because it is their first attempt. Right, so I'm now in dynamic suspension. Yeah, now the Suzuki's in the U mode now, which I've configured to be hard suspension with some extra hardness as well. So this is the, the fully hard option, if you like. As hard as it goes. It's just, it's just a little bit flat in that mid-range coming out the corners compared to the XR. But yeah, it's got a lovely, you get a lovely feeling from the tarmac, you get a lovely feedback from that. The front end on this is very, very good, as we said. It's close. It's, it's very close. They're both exceptionally capable. Get out of the sea, it's still a bit hanging off on the Suzuki. Oh, it loves it. It loves it. I think dynamically, there's nothing in it, is there, dynamically? There's nothing in it dynamically between them. Yeah, no, I agree. Which I think will surprise a lot of people that, you know, the Suzuki is that good. And it, that's just for swapping the tyres. It's all it needed. I think this sort of, the summary of, of it, and I know we're going to do some closing remarks sat down, but actually there is surprisingly little difference between them, which is testament to how good the Suzuki is at the price point. Yeah, this is, I just want to swap just to look at the vibe differences. I know that's a big thing for a lot of people. And our, our mate Andy TMF slagged this bike. He said it's too vibey. He couldn't part with it. What, the Suzuki? Yeah, he, he said it's a no from him because it's too vibey. Oh, I, th I, th I, th I think the BMW is vibey. Not to say Andy's wrong. You know, he's highly respected. Well, YouTuber, he is, but, yeah. Uh, he's, you know, he's, very... he's, not, he's not perfect. He's not perfect. <laughs> <sighs> Yeah, just revving it like that. So maybe a little bit high, high frequency on the XR, maybe. I don't think there's anything in it from a vibe point of view. No, I agree. There's nothing in it, is there? They've both got a little bit of a buzz to them, but as I said, I've done 700 miles on this, and as long as you don't grip the bars really tightly and you've got a light touch on the bike, it's absolutely fine. And I'm doing 42 now in fourth. And just going back to the vibes, there's nothing at this sort of speed. It's just when you're on the gas a little bit harder, then you kind of feel it. And we are used to riding straight fours, so maybe that's something to do with it. If you don't ride a lot of straight fours, you may find it vibey, but it's it certainly do not discount it without riding it because you think it's going to be too vibey, both of these bikes. Ride them and try them. There you go, mate. What a what a lovely little morning cheers, riding again. Cheers. Have you tested the old dude? Yeah, yeah. Sort of. We're back at the White Horse Pub. This is a bit of a bit of a favourite. This one, isn't it? It's, good it's spot. just in between sort of Haven't and, and Chichester sort of way. It's a really nice yeah. little spot. Really nice. We just ordered a couple of baps, sausage and egg baps on the way. I can't wait. It's going to be nice. Yeah, we're about half an hour away from Goodwood. Yeah, um, I would say. So it's beautiful, right out in the country. Yeah, it's really it's nice. actually very busy road wide. Well, very busy for this area. It's busy because of the festival of festival speed. Of on. So there's a lot of people using which we these did roads. attend on Friday and, and, and up the hill climb pa Paris, didn't yeah. we? So there's a video for that coming up at the top there somewhere. Yeah, that was it may be out already. Fantastic experience. Yeah, it was. Yeah. But anyway, enough, yeah. enough, enough of, of that. that. So I'll be really interested to hear your thoughts as the first time you've ridden both bikes because I've yeah. spent a bit more time on them. What, yeah. what, what's, what's your feeling of each? Well, I think I'm surprised at how. Uh, much fun they are because I, yeah. I always assume a crossover bike is going to be a little bit utilitarian and a little bit boring but they're not they're not boring no. at all actually and very very enjoyable my other initial impressions are, are, is that they are incredibly similar yeah. but probably the closest to ride of any bikes we've done a comparison on yeah. and, and to say they're different manufacturers different price point I think that it's, it's impressive what yeah. Suzuki have done because the XR is obviously been around for yeah. quite a while I know it's a later carnation 
And I think Suzuki have sort of stepped into it and done a great job. And whether they've cheated and had loads of XRs and developed <laughs> their space, I don't know, but they're, uh, yeah, they're, they're I, incredible. I think yeah. you're right. And if you're to, to ride closing your eyes, I think you'd struggle to think, what bike am I on a little bit? Yeah. Which one am I riding now? They are, you're right, they're both, they're both straight fours, they're both 1,000cc. Yeah. yeah. They've got similar suspension travel. So they are, yeah. you know, they are, this is why we're comparing them. It's why we're comparing And the other thing that I would say is the, um, they're sort of very easy to live with, very, um, yeah, just sort of straightforward. They're, you can ride them slowly and everything's smooth and everything, you know, the gearboxes are so light on both bikes and they're just sort of delightful, yeah. really. They're, de they're delightful. As a, as a bike to use without any annoyances, Yeah, they're right there's, up there. There's, and I think what is really impressive is just how well they handle, how much fun they are when you yeah. chuck them around. No, is, is our, our yeah. like, oh, And as if by magic, Bappage, bit of Bappage. <laughs> yes. A bit of Bappage. A bit of Bappage in the morning. Oh, we're going to eat these on camera then. Let's yeah. put some ketchup on then. On, this is the sort of life you lead when you're a. It's, it's, it's hard life, this it's YouTube hard business. Life. It's really is. Exactly. It? it is hard life. Entertainment for the masses. Comes at a cost. <laughs> Got the bacon bats. <laughs> Sausage bats. I, think, I mean, it's very, very close. And, um, you know, I think if you're buying one of these, uh, either bike or impressive, and I think there's two things really that, the only two things that I think you need to consider is, if, if you're in the market for a crossover bike, then I think you're really down to the prefer your preference on the looks. Yeah. 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 That's how close they are to ride. Yeah. So therefore it's just, which one do you like the look of? And then I think you've got to consider the price point. Yeah. And I think actually, other than that, there is nothing to call them between no. the two. The electronics, they all do pretty much the same thing. All right, they're slightly more sophisticated on the BMW, but for a bike of this nature, it doesn't matter. They're still perfect on the yeah, Suzuki. Yeah. I think the Suzuki suspension is, for me personally, and I'm 12 stone, so that might make a difference, but I think it works perfectly for me. It's it does for me as well, being really heavy. It, yeah, yeah it, doesn't it, get, it doesn't ever crash over no, bumps. perfectly and, damped. It's, it's perfectly it's damped, yeah. It's absolutely damped. perfect, really. Yeah. And so it, it's very, very impressive. Um, I think there's a little bit more room to move around on the Suzuki yeah. over the BMW, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's better. It feels a little bit looser, but I yeah. think, um, yeah, it's it, to call a winner today, I think is going to be very hard because there, there isn't a winner because they are too similar. Yeah. I, uh, I, I, if we're going to talk, I, I personally, I've just spent a lot of time on both of these bikes. It's, it's really close, but I think the XR, if you just said, which one can I keep the keys to? You'd have the XR. I'd have the XR. Yeah. It's only it's only marginally better, marginally yeah. better. Yeah, it's a bit more powerful. Yeah, it is a bit more. Um, it is a bit it's more got more a bit more drive. Yeah. Um. So I think the XR is slightly better. Is it four and a half thousand pound better to, to get the similar spec one as the Suzuki? No. So if no. I was spending my own money, I think I'd probably go the Suzuki, Suzuki and save yeah. and have a bit of change in my pocket, and then maybe no. get a full system and a remap, and that'll bring all of that differences back in power. Yeah, I'd agree. And and I think the other thing that you know, you have to be honest about, or we have to be honest about, I think the fit and finish of the BMW is nicer. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, okay, so, yeah. so it's not like you can't see where your no. money's gone. It's more expensive yeah. and you can see that it's more premium and it does feel slightly yeah. nicer quality. I mean, there's no question of that. Yeah. But but when you're riding them, that becomes a bit irrelevant, it does. doesn't it? Yeah, because yeah, actually, exactly. when you ride any bike, it's, how does it ride? Does it ride well? And they ride virtually identically. Yeah. yeah? And so I, I think I'm with you. I think if it was my own money for a bike of this nature, I think I'd go for the Suzuki, yeah. I have to yeah. say. Um, and, and that's not to take anything away from the BMW, but the BMW is getting quite expensive, yeah, isn't it's, it? It's getting um, very expensive. And so, yeah. So and that's, it's, it's that's worth noting, I have changed the tires on the Suzuki. The standard tires fair. really that's let the fair. bike down, yeah. and it makes a huge difference swapping the tires. And over. do they only come, do you know, with one tire, or is that just they the bike you have? The they only come they with the one tire. They only come with the one tire. They come with the OEM Dunlops, yeah. which are really, not even like a, they're a specially built budget tire for the bike. Yeah. The Dunlop will say they're not what they'd even recommend to put on the bike. You know, they're, they're, they, they need to come off, get something sticky on. Yeah. It transforms. It Perfect. gives you that confidence to, to yeah. push it in and stuff like that. Yeah. One thing we've got to do though, Greg, that's the XR and the GX. We need to bring the Tracer into this as well. So I think we need to well, compare the Tracer 9 GT. The Tracer 9 GT. Yeah. Compare the GX with the Tracer yeah. and then that'll be a follow up, a yeah. follow up review. Yeah. So no, if you're interested in that, because then bikes are a bit more similar priced. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, yeah. that sounds good. Let's do that. Yeah. So if you're interested in that, don't forget you need to subscribe, like, all of that business, and uh, we're going to enjoy our bats. And we'll see you on the next one. Cheers, guys. Baby.